Hey guys, today's vlog is gonna be very different than the norm. We're gonna be trying some classic British food. We are in England, we're currently in Bath, and we're also gonna show you a little bit of the town. All right, so first up is a classic bacon sandwich. I was a little shocked that this is one of the dishes that are a staple and institution here in England. We got it at this place called Greenbird Cafe, which is really good, so I'm hoping that the sandwiches as well. I'm gonna be the tester this time. Here we go. Mm. It's really interesting, like, all that's on this, from what I can tell, is butter, some bacon, and that's it. Just bread. Bread's really crispy, soft in the inside. Bacon is cooked really well. So this type of sandwich is completely my kind of thing. Um, I ordered this back in Canada. The biggest difference is this just has bacon and bread. Back home you'd get cheese or condiments or... An egg, maybe? An egg. We're just walking along the river. Here you can see the backside of Pulteney Bridge. It's definitely one of the big landmarks here in Bath. And guys, this river is called the Avon River and it kind of surrounds all of Bath. All I wanna know is how much are these places over here because I wanna live right there. So Bath is located on the west side of England and there's roughly 100,000 people here, which is not too big. And it's known for its naturally occurring hot springs, aka its Roman baths, and the 18th century Georgian architecture. Alright, next up on the traditional English food list is some Cornish pasties. Pasties. First time having these. It's pasties? Pasties. Okay. First time having these ever, and they look really good. They do. So they kind of look like a pastry, but they have savory fillings. Anna got a cheese and onion one, and I went for the traditional. Let's see how these are. Definitely delicious. It's got like a nice flaky crust on it. The inside almost tastes like potato. I don't know if there is some potato in there. It was not in the ingredients, but it reminds me of like a baked cheesy potato. Mine is delicious. I've been chowing down on this already, as you can see. Went for the traditional, like I said. You English people like your food hearty. <laughs> like this is almost like a turkey dinner, but with beef in it. My father would love this. Dad, you would love this. I'll give you a closer look here on what's in this. So we do have some beef. Uh, there's potatoes, onions, and some really delicious savory gravy. Guys, we're just finishing up and uh, look where we uh, ate those delicious pasties. Right outside the Abbey, this place is gorgeous. Let's go take a better look at it. So Bath is really small and that means wherever you go in this place, you're going to see that abbey. It is gorgeous, it's a gothic style architecture and it's one of the things you just have to come if you're in this beautiful city. Definitely have to come see it. It used to be a Roman Catholic church, now it's part of the Church of England. All right, so since we're right down here at the abbey, we're gonna go check out the famous Roman baths. So this site actually dates back to 70 AD when the Romans invaded Britain. Basically, it's a hot spring, so by default it was really popular. Everyone wanted to come here anyway, but at that time it was considered really a place of sacred healing and prayer. So it was a main attraction to come here, and to this day it's still a main attraction because it's gorgeous. It was short and sweet. Are you hungry? I actually wish we were going to a spa now. <laughs> she wants to go to the spa. I want more food. Okay, we got our traditional English pie, and what we got today is chicken 
ham hock, haven't had that before, and leek. It's sitting on some mashed potatoes and some really looking savory gravy. Anna's gonna break into this. We'll see what's on the inside of it. Again, back everything over here seems to be very hearty. Totally my jam. That's delicious. It tastes like Sunday dinner. <laughs> Chicken, it's in like a creamy sauce, sitting on the potatoes, and then the gravy is so yummy and warm and savory. All right, so we had three dishes so far. Any favorites for you? Probably that pie. The pie, the one we just had. Mm. I think mine so far is the paste pasty. Mm. <laughs> pasty, right? Not pasty? Pasty. We have one more coming. We cannot leave England before we try something that's very traditional. It's a pudding. It's a sticky toffee pudding. And for you North Americans watching, the Brits refer to dessert as pudding. <laughs> so we're getting sticky toffee pudding pudding. <laughs> Guys, it showed up. This looks completely different than any sticky toffee pudding that we, or I've had anyway, in North America. Um, it's in like a little bowl full of sauce. Look how deep this is. Mm -mm. Well, the spoon just cuts right through it. And the custard looks good. Hot. Mm, it's delicious. The custard and light and creamy, and then it's got cake, which is sort of like gingerbread, but not really. Is does it taste as rich as it looks? Yes. I'm go I'm going for it. Mm. Oh my! It just like <laughs> melts in your mouth. I'm, I'm getting flavors like there's coffee, caramel. This. It's so rich. Look, it's just dripping. Mm. I could just have that on its own, honestly. This is like awesome. All right, so we're just on our way to our last stop. This place, this really interesting place, is called The Circus. And check this out it's completely circular townhome. Really cool spot. The other thing is the battery in the camera is dying, so we just have to stop in our Airbnb. First, I gotta switch the battery out to show you the very last thing. So here we are back at our Airbnb. Come on in and check it out, it's really great. Guys, here's a quick tour. Here's the kitchen. Stove, actually has an oven. In here there's a washer and dryer. Beautiful bathroom, look at the tub. Then we have this gorgeous king size bed in a very big room. Here we are in the living room. You'll see a big TV behind me. Shelf with some books and DVDs, an extra bed, great big chair, and sofa. There is also a table to have dinner or set up your laptops like we did. This place is in the perfect location. It's just a couple minutes from the circus, which we just passed. It's by Bath Spa Holiday Lex. We will link it below. You can see this unit and all the other ones that you can rent from them. Now we're gonna go check out our very last stop. So here we are at the last thing we wanted to show you. It's called the Royal Crescent. It's 30 townhomes and it makes this huge half crescent here. Look at the size of this place. So if you're in Bath, this place is an absolute must see. It's one of the things you have to do. It was constructed in 1767 to 74, and some of the most important people have lived here, including royalty. So back in Bath's heyday, when a high society would come to take the waters, this is where they wanted to live. Nowadays, it's still some townhouses, but some of them are broken up into flats and offices. That's it guys, I really hope you enjoyed our video of Bath today, but not only that, I hoped you liked our English traditional food vlog. This is kind of new for us. We thought we would give it a try. Let us know in the comments what you think. We probably missed a lot of good traditional foods. I Absolutely. Bet. We can't have to eat them all in one day. Exactly. And if we missed anything, let us know. Start a conversation in there because other people will then know what they missed. All right, guys, that's it. From Bath, England, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon. And guys, don't forget to hit that like button and click on the little bell to get notifications. And if you got this far, why not hit the subscribe button? Hit subscribe, click on the bell, and if... Oh. Hey guys, no. Hey guys, to... I feel like my voice isn't loud. Are you getting some tips for us? I'm learning about the statues.